Hi everyone, it is Friday the 22nd of February uh, 2019 and it is 1pm uh, GMT in London. Uh, I travelled for a few days and I thought I'd do a video. I did try and make a couple of videos um, towards the evening um, on my iPhone. Unfortunately the iPhone is a horrible device to make evening videos or as far as I'm using it anyway. I could probably be doing something definitely wrong, but uh, I messed up. So I will be departing London today. Unfortunately, I have to go back, and I will be, but I will be back in a couple more weeks later, and I'll try and do some better videos. So I thought I'd just do a quick um, a video just to show sort of hotel life and how I've been staying, and um, just a travel video. So again, uh, let's start. I'm in I'm in the same room because I love the room. So behind me is the bathroom and the door. Coming in. Um, the uh, thermostat and I always have I never put anything in my in in the cupboards um, I'll show you there because I always forget I am a very habitual dropper and forgetter of things and I don't know how it happens I just don't know it just happens it's just my really really bad luck so I always put everything outside so I have my spare suit tie cap um, I have a tuxedo in my suitcase I always travel with a, a tuxedo and a spare suit um, so current suit and um, jacket, which is my uh, barber navy blue jacket, um, it's my absolute favourite jacket in the whole world. I have a spare one. I always keep a spare uh, blue one jacket because I just love this jacket. It's really, really light. It's really, li really light, but really, really warm, and it's a perfect suit cover as well to wear over your suit. And I, I've worn that in winter and in the summer as well, and I've been perfectly fine. So it's a really, really good jacket. So that's why I love it. Um, my technical bag, which I always travel with me, um, it has my camera gear in and it has uh, my sat phone and my other stuff in, but I always carry it with me. I always end up recharging and using things, even though I'm not currently working or, um, you know, I'm not currently working. Um, but I still help out with the lab and so on. So my, my Rush 24, uh, 511 Rush 24 bag, which I obviously, you know how much I love that bag. Uh, my crutches, uh, boots. Um, Set up my um, things that I, uh, my general EDC and my a couple of things that are being charged. My uh, my um, laptop, my work, my lab, uh, BlackBerry and iPhone, uh, which I keep on my uh, photo photographs and videos from the lab work and stuff that I do for research and so on. Um, just charging before travel. Um, wash kit it was in the bathroom so i put it on my bed because it's now going to go into my suitcase last time i left a really nice bottle of soap in 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 the bathroom uh, again as i mentioned before I'm, i am a habitual forgetter of things and dropper of things and so on so i have put everything this time on the on the bed uh, I'm checking everything, just double double checking, and that I haven't left anything. I mean, you could just say it's just a bar, it's just some soap. But the thing is, um, it could be a watch. Uh, it could be, you know, it could be your favorite watch. It could be your favorite necklace. It could be your earrings. It could be um, your wallet. It could be your flashlight, your laptop, your mini iPad, your iPhone, your BlackBerry. I mean, it could be anything, you know. Um, a lucky charm even you know a pen it could be anything and I uh, so I just you know put dump everything I collect everything put it onto my uh, onto the bed because it's a big surface and then I always try to rearrange and neatly arrange everything so I can see everything and then I pack it away into my pockets and my bags um, I love this soap though this um, uh, this is by a, a, a British company uh, Bayless and Harding and this one is called pink magnolia and pearl uh, blossom hand wash really really nice not too sweet but just sweet but very very beautiful um, and I don't know what this camera is doing but the, so uh, the body, body wash is by uh, again I think it is a British company Century Spa uh, body scrub the body scrub is really 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 good and um, the thing I love about this company is that it is uh, against animal testing and paraben free. I am a huge uh, supporter of um, uh, conservation and I don't like polluting the environment and so on. Um, but yeah, so I really like that company. Uh, my uh, Luminox uh, GMT battery ran out, so I changed before travel to my Night. That's N I T E, Night Watches. It's a British company. Um, Night Watches, a model Hawk. I absolutely love. Uh, this model. Uh, if I can go to the back of it and show you as well, uh, there we go. that's that's the back of it. 
Uh, I absolutely love this. It works exactly like the 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 tracer and the it has everything is illuminate illuminated. Uh, and this is the orange and blue version. Um, the hands I the hands are orange and everything else is blue except the twelve o'clock which is uh, orange as well. Uh, my life ventures. Um, wash kit i i really want another one because i've damaged the inside of it a little bit uh, but um they've stopped making it uh, so i'm just going to put up with this and i'm just going to fix it it's absolutely fine i mean it's lasted me 10 years um so you know um uh, spare watch this is the casio w86 i absolutely love this watch because it's so simple to use especially doing travel Let's see if i can adjust it especially during travel because um, it shows you the time, uh, the day and the date uh, it has an hourly chime alarm and this button is super good because you can just press and change to the 24 hour time zone I just love this watch um, simple click um, light function to illuminate at night uh, which obviously you can't see but um, alarm so that's the hourly chime then you have the alarm at 6 a.m. Uh, one hour chronograph imagine to a hundredth of a second and set time and it's simple simple really really simple but it chimes and I leave it in there and I know and I'm, I'll, I have an hourly chime then Swiss Army knife instead of carrying this, uh, the uh, British Army uh, knife that I had last time with the Marlin Spike I have this one um, I think this is a six feature one with an Adox handle I like the um, the hawk bill um, as I showed last time let me try and switch so let me quickly go there so I like this blade which I really uh, enjoy using because it's really simple to use um, just by for opening um, boxes and stuff um, soap boxes and so because I have very bad dexter dexterity so um, other EDC items uh, Tracer watch which I'm actually wearing today um, I won't be I won't be wearing my um, Omega or my Rolex or my Graham or anything like that doing travel so I just wear this because it has a day date feature which I love and it has the 24 hour um, uh, written inside and the minutes and, and a rotating bezel and so on um, wallet for travel uh, notebook because I, I constantly am writing down things um, diary I love these moleskin diaries um, this is this year's uh, Snoopy or Charlie Brown uh, peanuts um, uh, brand by moleskin Moleskin does these every year. This year was yellow. Originally it used to be red, but this is yellow. So I like just opening up to a random page. I like this layout. I wanted to show you the layout. Um, so this is just a week. So it has all the days on one side and then a note paper on the other. And then it just, again, um, again when you turn over the page, the days on one side. And this is fantastic because I, I really like using this. So uh, notebook diary. Um, Rotring 800 pencil. Um... Parker, Jotter, Ballpoint Pen, Mont Blanc, um, Fine Liner, and those go in my shirt pocket, and then these go in my pocket, so this is the Stabilo sensor, which I absolutely, I love this pen, um, model number 186-41, the 41 I believe refers to the colour, the blue, um, love this clue, pen, Pilot V5 again, another pen I love, I've used this uh, in black for over 10 years, more than that, actually I've used it since I was 11, and now I'm 34, so more than 10 years um, the um, Uniball uh, Jet Scream 41 of, um, 101 sorry not 401 um, 101 they've stopped making this and I have a couple of boxes left but this is a fabulous ballpoint pen it's like writing with silk it really is uh, I have no idea why Uniball stopped making this I, I, I just can't understand it um, a really beautiful pen big highlighter Pentel P205 this combination I've used since I was 11 so uh, and a Stadler, uh, Mars Micro 0.5. This actually has red. I usually swap it out. So sometimes it has red lead in or green lead in. Uh, just as a highlighter pencil. Um, Phoenix E2 E25 UE flashlight. It's a, it's a new one I got for my birthday. Um, SOG. Um, this is the slip joint knife. Uh, SOG Terminus. So. Sog Termis, this again I got this and this for my birthday uh, I really really like this knife I also got uh, two other beautiful knives tools from my best friend uh, bro thank you so very much uh, I'm not going to travel with them just because I don't want to drop them or leave them somewhere so I, they are actually at home on my desk especially the Oppino 
Um, I will do a review on the Opinion knife that I received for my birthday from one of my best friends. Uh, bro, thank you so very much. Um, and I will also check with him if I can mention his YouTube channel as well. I'll just double check. Um, but he does have a YouTube channel. So uh, this one, uh, my sisters uh, got me. They said I could pick anything I liked. And after um, a lot of things, uh, looking at the Heine Haynes website, which I absolutely love, I picked this one because it's a slip joint. Uh, it's non-locking. Also has a pocket clip, uh, which I love. And it's just a really, really nice knife to hold and use, especially as a disabled person. Um, and I just use that as just as a tool to manipulate and stuff. Uh, Victoria Knox tool um, again because I'm using this because it, I can very easily um, get the scissors out with one hand. Um, yes, I have a Leatherman uh, surge as well, but um, I just like this. And I just like this. Uh, I like the ergonomics, the anthropometrics of this uh, multi tool. I still have the Leatherman with me, but I just like this. And I, I also one thing I also love about this is the uh, excuse me. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Uh, the bottle opener. Um, one of the best bottle openers on a multi-tool on the market, I believe. Um, also, long screwdriver, a bit of, bit of reach. You can use it as a pry, um, so it gives you a bit of reach. And I think this is the uh, the wire stripper, um, take the coating off wires. Really, really good tool. Eye gel, just for my eyes. So my laptop, I've done that. Okay, um, suitcase, uh, two Canon cameras, My just the standard ones that I mentioned last time. Um, I did buy a new handmade silk tie so this is the it's the navy blue herringbone with uh, polka dots and I really really love this design I usually get the fleur de lis on them but this time when I saw this I just fell in love with uh, this so I, I got this so I'll wrap it up in the tissue paper before I put it in for travel uh, and I will come to the, the glorious bit outside in a, in a, in a moment um, this morning actually it was so foggy that I couldn't actually see anything whatsoever it was that foggy it was literally an entire smog of um fog it was so heavy okay you see that white building there i could not see that i could just see like this side and this face but i really couldn't see anything sort of like beyond that building literally i'm not um, making up a, a big ex big sort of expression literally anything beyond that was just smoke it was just smog i could not see anything uh but now it's cleared up and there is and i there is an aircraft coming in and I, from the look of it um let's try and zoom in uh, let me try and zoom in obviously nothing is ever going to work because I'm, I'm filming uh there we go so this is the flight path into heathrow so hi everyone welcome to uh london Welcome to the United Kingdom. If you're returning home, welcome home. Uh, if you're visiting us, welcome. Uh, so they're flying in and I, if you bear with me one moment, let's see if I can use my camera, longer camera, to see which, oh, it's a 747 by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, it's a British Airways 747. There we go, just took some few photos of that. Um, so if you can zoom in. So it is a British Airways um, 747 coming into land uh, to uh, Heathrow Airport, LHR. Uh, welcome people, welcome back home. Or oh, if you're visiting us, welcome to country, consider it your home whilst you're here. Oh, and come back at any time. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I'd just say that. Um, with everything, with all the bad stuff that's going on in the UK politically. Anyway, ignore that. So yeah, welcome to the UK, and let's just go back quickly. So yeah, this is my usual uh, tie design, uh, the fleur de lis, which I absolutely love. So this was actually a present for my aunt as well, uh, for my birthday. So this is my birthday present tie with the fleur de lis, uh, the navy blue, um, from this company. I usually get them from a company. Uh, we usually get them from a company called T M Levin, but this time when my aunt took me out for shopping, uh, we couldn't find this design there. So this was the shop next door. And they had it, so we well, she paid for it, and I just picked the design. Um, she obviously knew what design I liked, but I just picked the color because I don't have that color. So yeah, I needed some cables. Um, I'm going to moan now. I needed these cables. You cannot believe how uh, difficult it was getting these cables in London um, because of the shutdown of a shop called Maplin and other just general shutdowns of shops in London. Um, it was just so difficult to get hold of. And the, the shops that I did find them, they were selling each each one of these for £20. Uh, 
a, a complete ripoff. Uh, I think the Apple shop probably sells it for more. Um, but I'm, I went to a department store in the UK called John Lewis. Um, they have a technology section and they sold me uh, each one for £10. Again, still expensive, but it's still in terms of relativity, uh, it was the cheapest. Yes, I could buy from online, but I'm not an online shopper. I don't like online shopping unless I really need to. Um, but because I was traveling and I needed these accessories and I still prefer going into a shop and touching and having a look and stuff. So I still am that traditional shopper. Um, so I was really pleased. So thank you, John Lewis, for having that. Socks. Uh, <laughs> um, boot polish kit, my Graham watch. Um, yeah, I went to a bookshop. So I'll do a couple more things. I went to a bookshop, um, uh, Foils, which is on Charing Cross Road in the in in London. So if you're visiting London or you live in London, obviously you'll if you live in London you'll you'll know Foils. But if you're visiting London, go have a look at this shop. It's all it's on Charing Cross Road in London, in central London. Um, it's a beautiful bookshop. If you love books, go have a look. Obviously, books and stationery they do. So I bought a couple of books that I wanted to read. Um, I got the paper book versions with a really nice one because I have something called dyslexia. Um, uh, different fonts sometimes are difficult for me to read personally. Uh, so I got the fonts that I that I find comfortable reading. Um, so I was really happy that for stock them. Thank you for those. Uh, and I picked up uh, the black reading pencils. Um, so this is apparently the limited edition ones, um, which is all black, and I got the orange uh, rubbers with them. I'll see if I can open them quickly. Um, let's have a look. So the, these were actually quite expensive. I'll show you the tag. Let me just try and zoom in. So there's the tag. Uh, so the, the price is here, the 35.00, that's 35 pounds sterling. Um, yeah, very expensive, I know. But I, I love, I love uh, Palomino pencils, uh, black and Palomino pencils. Um, and, I, and I think pretty much everyone who has a stationary habit will understand that. Excuse me while I try not to drop everything. And I know it's shaky. I know the video is shaky. And I know I got a lot of insults last time about shaky videos. But I'm trying to do things one-handed. And my arms are, my right arm is damaged as well. And that's the arm that I hold my um, camera in. Because then I can use the proper arm to, well, pretty much proper arm to pointer stuff so there we go if you want to have a quick read of that see if i can make it a bit brighter and if you just take and i can actually smell them oh oh the smell is beautiful the smell is absolutely beautiful sorry the smell is really really beautiful so there they are they need to be sharpened obviously um all black and they come with black eraser and they're the black wing three three thirty three and a half three three sorry thirty three and one third it says on there uh, let's see if I can get into um, there we go blackwing uh, no sorry I'm just trying to, there we go black uh, palomino come on don't let me down now palomino and then the trees seedable trees and then the blackwing three three one third and just look at that that is just beautiful isn't it yeah I just smell that that is beautiful smell as well sorry <laughs> it is it is really beautiful um, cedarwood smell so. And I believe it's Californian cedar wood. Um, so I'll take. I only bought one box. I wish I'd bought more, uh, but they. Ha but you know, I, I only bought one. Um, I, I did get because I have other Palomino pencils, just the regular ones. I bought three of these. Um, so um, yes, Dr. Harris. I went. This is the perfumer that I really love. I I think my first ever video actually featured these when I did the first ever uh, my first ever video with the washer kit. Um, so it's actually it looks like it says Dr. Harris, but it's actually D. Dot R. Dot Harris, and I'm just moving my oh, and there we go. D. R. Um, D. Dot R. Dot Harris. Dot Co. Uh, Limited. So this is the one I usually get Arlington Cologne, but this is a lemon-based one. This is an orange-based one, and I have already used quite a bit. It, it was like up to here, and I've used a bit. I absolutely love this. Um, again, I only bought one, but I probably will ask them to send me one over the post. Really, really beautiful, fresh orange smell on this. Asprey, I did visit Asprey. I had to uh, look at a few things that I wanted. Um, some perfume and some other stuff. Tinnerfall Bond Street Soap. I don't like the soap. I like soap that I... A citrusy soap. The hotel has like a lavender soap. I don't like that. They used to have like a grapefruit soap before. Uh, but I don't like that. And not, yeah, I don't like the current lavender soap so i just buy what i like and and just make myself really happy and, and i feel comfortable um 
So this is from the tailor of Old Bond Street. So this is uh, called their Eton College Collection. Um, ignore the names. They all, you know, companies always use fancy names and stuff. But if you have a look at the bottom part of the sentence, uh, the invigorating part, I believe that that is really true. So the the products have a fresh, invigorating fragrance. Uh, combining sp sparkling citrus oils with rich woody undertones. The rich woody undertones are really, really good. The the the, the citrus oil in this is really, really, really. Um, you can smell it, and it's beautiful. It's really refreshing, and really wakes you up. So, I have uh, one that I'm pretty much finishing up in the bathroom, and I'm I'm just going to carry one home for uh, use at home, and I have others at home as well. So I just want extra. Um, Muji, I all, there isn't a Muji anywhere near where I live, so I just picked up a few things from Muji. Um, toothbrush, yeah. Why am I mentioning a toothbrush? Well, like I say, I my videos are based on EDC kit and travel EDC and so on. So, um, the the toothbrush I have in my uh, current wash bag is um, pretty much finished. So I will leave that in the hotel. I'll bin it. Um, the one in currently in my EDC bag. Um, is a brand new one. I always carry a, a full fresh uh, hygiene kit in my EDC bag for travel um, and if I use it once or twice that's just one in travel if my, if, uh, if in the worst case my suitcase doesn't arrive or something but you know touch wood um, <laughs> it's never happened and I, I, I don't it won't happen because my bag's trapped and so on. anyway but uh, I have a fresh set in there so what will happen is I will take the, uh, the uh, toothbrush out of there and put it into my wash kit the current one in the wash kit will get binned and that one will then go into my um, EDC bag. So I'm con this is this is my system. This is how I constantly refresh my EDC and I am using it. I'm not sort of, uh, sometimes people use the word hoarding. I'm not hoarding. I am just keeping one spare uh, and the spare helps me because I'm disabled. Uh, I can't often go out so I have access to the things I need to replace and replenish. Um, there we are. So Muji, yeah, I bought two pen pots that I needed. They have a top on them. Um, these come in just so helpful for everything. They're acry acrylic pots, and then they have a top on lid on them. They come in handy. Uh, they come in helpful for everything at home. Um, so I bought two extras. I bought two cases uh, just to keep iPhones and um, uh, passports and so on, uh, or other travel documents. I like these Muji travel cases. They're blue. Obviously, I love navy blue. And then it has a sleeve, a pocket sleeve inside. Um, Pen pocket, obviously you can put two iPhones in there or your iPhone and Blackberry in there just to keep it in your pocket. Um, it also ha it also comes with this um, chain strap so you can wear it around your neck or you can have it inside your pocket secured. Perfect. And I just got some handkerchiefs which I actually can use as silk squares in my uh, suit pocket. So I got, you can never have enough white ones. Uh, check because I like blue my check and then navy blue. And that's it really. Um, Cotswold, I went to Cotswold Outdoors. Uh, this is like, uh, um, for reference, for reference, this is like REI in the USA. So this is the British version. Uh, not as good as REI. I have to say that. Uh, uh, you know, I'm being honest in all my videos. I'm, you know, so. Uh, but it did have the things I wanted. So, ah, so I bought these. So let's just have a quick look at these. So these are life ventures. So, so these are the additional life venture things. Um, this is a Life Ventures wash bag, so it's made of the same sort of rip, stop, waterproof, seal um, uh, material that features in there and on the outside of, on, of that. So I can use this in my EDC bag where I can put my medicine in there because I have to carry liquid medicine for my IV and stuff. And also I can use it as for other liquids like this in my suitcase. Obviously, I still double bag everything I put into the plastic Ziploc bags, but then it just goes into here as an extra security and, a, and it's a proper bag as well. Uh, it has a zip at the back, so you can, can use that as a, and again, that's a waterproof compartment as well. Uh, I'll show you the back of the, um, the details of that. Come on, there we go. So I often don't have the facility to weigh anything, so that, that's the weight if you want to know the weight. 50 try to read through that 56 grams and that's the dimension obviously still everything is made in China I've just started to ignore that because everything's pretty much made in China now um, yeah that's the price that's 15 pounds sterling yeah I think it was expensive um, but I bought two but I, I didn't just buy it out of whim um, I have been looking at these and I have been looking at their websites and reviews and then I did uh, I've, been, I've actually been looking at it for a couple of months um, so yeah, I did make an educated choice, and it was—I I did feel it was too expensive. But com 
in comparison I paid about £20 for that and that's lasted me I bought that in December 2010 maybe yeah so almost no, nine years now so perfect so yeah I bought that and then I just got um, I got two of those so the other one is in there and then I got um, the travel door lock that I mentioned I bought another one uh, this is going to my sister and I got some um, uh, TSA approved travel lock I I'm not traveling to the USA anytime soon but it's nice just to have them because I don't have them um, I usually use the normal locks for travel and out if you're not traveling to America or Canada nobody bothers nobody no airport security cares um, they will just customs will just stop you and ask you to open your bags they won't destroy your bags uh, before before they get to you whereas in American Canada um, they're just a, I think even in Australia maybe they're just at an all other different level um, let's just not even talk about them but anyway if if I need to travel to the US or Canada uh, because I have family there um, I have the locks for both my bags there and I should I think I should have maybe bought another one but we'll, we'll see I just probably order anyway so done everything done in the room um, and then now I'll try and shut up at some point I know I'm annoying but um, let's see if we can zoom in on this aircraft uh, come on zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in so I think this is depart this is on a departure uh, this is not landing because the airports are that way uh, so that that is on a departure um, course so here we are here's London here's beautiful London um, the um, yeah I'm gonna carry on talking <laughs> just to give you an introduction um, let's see if we can, can let me just see if we I can manage it uh, just bear with me one moment I'm trying to see if I can see it but I don't know if my camera will pick it up right here uh, here here she should be able to see just a touch side of the the London eye uh, I can see it from here I don't know if my camera will pick it up though uh, but I can definitely see it but because of the angle of the camera I don't know if it will pick it up but anyway the London eye is there and there is uh, where is Big Ben so Big Ben is there the Elizabeth Tower it's still being repaired so it's just there where my finger is um, and then uh, this is uh, obviously Westminster Abbey here there uh, Buckingham Palace, Buckingham Palace Gardens, Buckingham Palace Lake, it was beautiful, the lake is off, off, always beautiful, my favourite thing to see, um, Four Seasons Hotel, uh, Intercontinental Hotel, um, and obviously my family home is here as well, that way, <laughs> somewhere that way, uh, but I love, I, I stay here because of the view, and then my family just come over, um, yeah I just love this view I just like this view it's so calming and relaxing and I have been very very unwell over the last couple of months um, so this for this for me is my calming my peaceful calm spot um, so this is why I make a video and this is why I like to share it with others maybe you'll find it calming or relaxing um, I really feel happy here uh, especially in this view um, so the Lanesborough Hotel is here uh, see Apsley House is here Absolutely, the arch. Uh, this is this is Hyde Park here. So the Blues and Royal this morning, which is part of the Household Cavalry, uh, Royal Horse Guards Dragoons, as uh, the, their official name and their nickname. I think it's the only regiment in the British Army which is known by its nickname, which is the Blues and Royals, because of the colour, the blue, uh, the, um, the uh, colours they wear um, from the two, the amalgamation of the two. I think it was the uh, uh, the Royal Horse Guards and. Um, Yes, the color, the, the 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 blue and red colors that they wear, um, and they're also obviously their association with the royal family and uh, with, with the royalty, um, the royal colors. Um, I, I'm forgetting something, and I know I am. Um, I actually know their history, but I'm currently forgetting it, and I always forget stuff when I'm doing a video because I get under stress. So ignore that. I'll try and put it up, but obviously a lot of you will already know. Uh, so excuse me for that. Um, I do make mistakes on my video, but um, yeah. So this is Peninsula. So this is the new Peninsula, London. Um, it's being made. So that's Belgravia. You're looking at the Belgravia area here. So let's have a zoom in. Uh, this is the Peninsula, London, being made. There we go. 
almost looks like SimCity. Do you remember SimCity? If you're old enough like me to remember uh, what SimCity was, it was a game. I don't know if it's around, still around or not. Um, it kind of just looks like SimCity here. Um, beautiful. Yeah, but it'll probably be even out of my price range to be honest to stay to stay there would be excruciatingly expensive considering where it's being built. Uh, I know the I know Belgravia quite well because my family actually live in Belgravia, which is there in that part of Belgravia. My it's my family home, um, uh, but obviously it doesn't have this view. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I don't think I could even afford to stay in the peninsula when it's made because Belgravia is insane expensive. Um, I'd never be able to buy a home in Belgravia, even if I saved up for 50 years, I don't think I could and work my backside off. Um, I will never be able to afford what my family have. Um, it's not possible. It's, you know, prices these days are just so expensive for real estate and people just keep increasing them. Um, but yeah, let's be positive. So, you know, never know. Um, but yeah. Um, okay, so, still aviation coming in. Um, move back a little bit because the sun is out and actually it's kind of okay that it's out because otherwise it'll be dark and the iPhone is a bad um, although probably everyone will be shouting at me at the moment saying oh you need to do this uh, if you're an iPhone user and you make videos on the iPhone and you know how to make good videos on the iPhone especially in low light conditions please kindly let me know I'm sure I'm probably doing something so obviously wrong that you're probably screaming at me right now Go ahead and just kindly write that down and let me know what I'm doing. But I don't know. I just feel that the, I always mess up when I make uh, evening videos on the iPhone. Uh, it just comes out dark. So yesterday, uh, and I will show you one of the videos. So yesterday it was like this. If you can see the shadow, um, I can see very clearly everything. But through the iPhone, look at it. And so when I adjust this, now you can see it. But even when I did this last night, it was having absolutely zero effect on, on the screen. Um, it, it was just not playing nice to be honest so that is uh, a trip report so hopefully that's still recording yeah and I have to depart London today unfortunately uh, but I will be back in a couple of weeks time and I will I think I'm now going to invest in um, some sort of video recorder camera uh, GoPro type of thing uh, if you know if you could recommend something to me uh, please do. Uh, I'd be very grateful. Um, if you could send me an Amazon link to it, uh, maybe then I'll know what to look for because sometimes not everything is available in the UK. Uh, again, one of the things we have to discover in the UK that everything is available generally in other parts of the world. But the UK stockists are just so bad at stocking everything. Uh, and I know if somebody is watching from a UK shop and say, well, we stock it, you know what? It's probably overpriced. Um, and Amazon probably sells it cheaper, which is annoying because I'm not, uh, I would far rather go into a shop and buy it, but I'm saying it out loud. UK shops are annoying because they don't overstock something and then when they do stock it, they overcharge you for it. Um, and I, I make no bones about saying that because I, I'm a consumer and I, and I, I've, you know, I've gone around and had a look. As I mentioned about the cables, uh, you know, they, they were they were selling them for twenty pounds in most of the shops, and then when I had a look around um, in all the shops, uh, I managed to find the same ones uh, for ten pounds um, on the same street on Oxford Street. Uh, so you know, I don't know what they're playing at. You know, it, it's disgraceful the the way that people um, shop, shop, and I'm sure they have excuses of high tax and. They need to pay and stuff, but you know, when when, when one the shop next door is selling for ten pounds, the shop next door is selling for twenty pounds, the other shop is selling for twenty five pounds. Um, it, it makes no sense. And considering they're made in China, I'm sorry. Considering the the cables are made in China, um, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous in the UK, and I'm getting a bit fed up. But that's unfortunately the way things are because I, I'm British and I live in the UK and. So far and so forth. So there you go. But at least the view is beautiful. Let's just stay with that view. There we go. So, and planes, still planes coming in. So I will uh, wrap up now. Uh, I'll get things packed up. 
um, and then I have an onward journey later on in the evening um, so I have to get ready for that um, kind of don't like don't like tra the travel travel bit of it but I do like enjoying arriving at locations and seeing beautiful things like this so there we go um, so yeah trip report my style the table prepper style not nothing airbrushed nothing um, uh, fancy about it lots of mistakes uh, you, you will just everything you see is in front of you I'm not you know I'm not changing anything so um, there we go um, let's see if I can risk it and get you a non -win non window view if I drop my camera I think I'll be screwed but you'll never know so I'll never get this footage back so let's have a look And that's as far as my my hand movement will allow. But you know, a, a little bit of a clearer view than the window, I guess. Uh, let's see. If it's clear. Non effective what it means. Can do something like There we go. Right. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're all well. If you if you're not well, if you're going through any stress or anything, um, yeah, I wish you, for, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you good luck. I hope things get resolved and I think we need more people saying good luck and just being helpful to each other in the world. I think the world is going, yeah, in the opposite direction and we need to restore it immediately. So good luck with everything and I shall see you with, um, i try and do a couple more videos when I get back home um, to my other city um, because this is also my home I love here and fun, yeah, I have fun here as well. So uh, yeah. Oh, one thing I will do a review on. Um, I will do. Um, I will do a review. I'll do a couple of reviews. I will do a review on um, the sub. Uh, I'm still trying to remember this name because it's relatively new for me. Uh, yes, sub terminus. I think from my eyes. Yes, sub terminus. I'll do a review on this. I do a review on the Phoenix E E twenty five UE. I still don't remember the brand name, uh, the model numbers. And I will do a review on the um, the Buck tool and the uh, Opino number eight handmade tool. Excuse me. That my friend sent me for my birthday. Um, I will do a review on that, and I will check with him if it's okay to mention his uh, YouTube channel. So yeah, um, here we are. Um, thank you very much for watching. Clothes, just so I always wrap up my clothes like this when I, um, so I change every day. Don't be one of those people who don't change clothes. Change up every day, so you know you dress underwear, socks, whatever, leggings, everything. I roll it up and then that just goes into my suitcase when I get home. Washing machine. Um, ooh, beautiful contrail there. I wonder where they're going. And one more coming in. I'm trying to zoom in. He's definitely coming into land. So, yeah, the aircraft is definitely coming into land. I know I said he, and I shouldn't have said that. Um, very definitely could be a she. Uh, find the aircraft. Um, the pilot is coming into land. The aircraft is coming into land, um, and that one is obviously just doing a maneuver for uh, on a departure. Um, so yeah, um, there we go. Okay, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on. Uh, other videos that I make later on and thank you very much for putting up with everything and I will see you later have a fab time thank you um, bye from London <laughs>